This is the problem we have in youth ministry right now. What happens in youth ministry in the modern days, we get them into a building and we try and put on a show that's so entertaining they take some kind of interest in what we're saying. And we put a huge amount of money into the budget. Why? Because they're not naturally interested because they're not seeing anything that's like, whoa. You know, what we did in a youth ministry in America is we shut down the Wednesday night Bible so that it was learning how to do discipleship and learning how to do mission. And we, we got them in the community every Wednesday night. So one particular night, one particular group, they would follow leaders and different leaders had a different ministry. And they would say, hey, follow me, come with me, see what it looks like when the kingdom of heaven touches earth. So one group, my favourite group, they uh, rented a room, actually they were getting it free, in an apartment block in Texas and they flyered everybody and said, if you want prayer, then come to this room 6.30 on Wednesday nights and we'll, we and the children will pray for you. So people would come. What happens of course is some get healed, some don't get healed. So suddenly the young people are asking us the questions, why did that one get healed and why did that not one get why, why did they turn up? Why didn't they turn up? Why did they walk off and not say thank you? So now they're pestering us because they've had this experience. But what kind of leader does that take then? 